Heidi ho there, and welcome to the 5-Minute Film School, where I, your humble host, rich impart my vast filmmaking knowledge on you, the lowly Utes of America, and the rest of the YouTube-verse. Okay, sound. Now we're just working with the lavaliers here. If you go for the boom option, generally speaking with a boom, you just want to have it no further than about 12 inches away from the subject and point it at their mouth. They're relatively simple to operate, but for here we're doing lavaliers. This is everything you'll need for this particular kit. So this piece here is the receiver. There's two pieces to the lavalier, receiver and transmitter. The transmitter is where the microphone is. You can see that it says AF out on the receiver and mic line on the transmitter. To turn them on, you open them up, then you press the on-off button, and they should spin right up. Now you'll see these numbers that are on the LCD screen. This is the frequency that these microphones are on. Now once they come out of the box, they probably won't be tuned to the same channel. All you would do to tune them is go to Set, press Set, and then you scroll through the menu until you come to Tune. And then you press Set again, and then the numbers will be there, and you move them up and down. You press set again and that stores it. Then you press on off and that goes back to the main menu. Now the next thing, and probably most crucial with sound, is how hot the sound is. Now when I say hot, the thing about microphones in general is they can be bottomed out. And the microphones can only handle so much signal. After that amount of signal, they're gonna, what I call, crunching the sound. Now we go through our menus again and we scroll to this part that calls it says sensitivity. Now this is on the, the microphone on the receiver. And you press that. And it's right now set at uh, minus 30 dB, which, you know, might be a little bit low. So we bump it up to minus 20. And as you can hear right now, it's getting louder. That's minus 10. Now it's getting much louder. And now we're at zero dB. That's really loud. And what you'll start to hear is and I have a very soft voice, but any kind of loud noise, as, I, as I'm demonstrating here, it starts to crunch that sound. And once that happens to the sound, there's really nothing you can do to fix it. So what I would do is I would set it lower. And you always want to have your sound between minus 12 and minus 6 dB at the very end. If those lines are hitting the end of the bars constantly, that's really not good. Because in post, you can always raise the audio as needed. But if you crunch the audio at the top, you'll never be able to do anything with it. So times two for a second lavalier. The only difference with two is you want to make sure that the frequencies are different on the second microphone. Because if you start, if you have two mics on the same frequency, and two receivers on the same frequency, it's uh, the, all the audio is going to mash up. It's going to be all the signal interference. So you want to make sure if this is at five three zero zero zero, then set the, the next one to five six zero 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 or some some number far away from it. Now this here is the zoom, uh, and as you look at it, uh, it might look a little bit intimidating with all the buttons and stuff. You turn it to the side, and the power button's at the very bottom here, and you uh, slide it downwards and then it'll start doing its menu spin up, which takes forever. Uh, the microphones are already set up on here. Uh, you can either use the mic input or the, one, the channel 1-2 input, um, which is fine to just use the channel 1-2 input by itself. You plug in your XLR. That's this three-prong cable that comes out of the receiver. And you plug that into the zoom. You turn on the other mic, and this thing's ready to record. Now, one annoying thing about the zoom is you won't hear any audio until you press the record button once. Now, when you press it one time, it is not recording, but you're gonna be hearing it. So I've had this happen several times where you think you're recording, but you are not recording. So you have to press it a second time, and once you see those numbers spinning, that means you're recording. Setting up the lavalier. Now, if, you're, if you don't care if the lavalier is visible, then you can have it outside the shirt and just pin it to the lapel. Or if the person's wearing a suit or a tie or whatever, you can pin it to the sides and face it up towards the mouth. Now, if you're shooting a film, on the other hand, you probably don't want the mic to be visible. So here's something to do. Take the little uh, alligator clip off of it and get a piece of gaffer tape or something similar. Gaffer tape is a great investment, by the way. Uh, get gaffer tape if you can. And you tape it to the inside of the shirt, pointing upward at the mouth. Now, you gotta make sure when you're listening to the audio that if there's any kind of touching of the microphone like this you hear these types of things that's something rubbing up against the microphone you don't want that to be happening 
uh, you don't, you know, and sometimes when people talk, they talk with their hands, they may like pop the, pop the microphone as well. So you want to avoid that. And if you hear it, you just want to do the takeover or do that line over so you have a clean version of it. But having the tape on it like this is usually pretty good. You just want to make sure nothing's rubbing it. Now another thing, if you start having trouble with your microphone, if you start hearing these kinds of sounds where we have, those types of sounds are shorts. Usually and this microphone actually has one after get it fixed, that noise. It's about a $40 fix to get this done. Uh, and you don't want that sound happening, obviously, in your takes. That's your basic sound kit. Okay, just to recap, the boom. If you're working with a boom, the boom needs to be aimed directly at the mouth or just in front of the mouth and be really no further than about 12 inches away. These microphones are directional. Uh, lavaliers, they can only handle so much signal load. And this is the same for booms as well. But uh, booms have a little bit more flexibility when they're hardwired. If you, if you put a radio receiver and transmitter on them, then they'll be limited as well. But lavaliers are radio mics, and they have a limited ability to take sound. You never want it too high. You never want it too low. Uh, we settled on 20, minus 20 dB, and that sounded pretty good. You always want your levels on your recorder to be between minus 12 and and minus six dB. You never want the audio levels to be reaching zero, zero dB on a consistent basis. If you have two lavaliers set up, make sure they're on different frequencies. Very important to do this. On the zoom, uh, very important because this always happens. Remember to press the record button twice. Always see those numbers rolling. With that information, you should be able to experiment, get comfortable with your equipment, then in the next episode, as promised, we will go into actual guerrilla tactics. Until then, comments are welcome. Please subscribe. We'd love to have as many subscribers as possible to this. And check out my web series, The Adventures of Dude and Bro, that's also listed here at Dude and Bro, the series on YouTube. And I will see you guys next week.